Guys, this is such a hyped situation. A fresh scientific study came out in January of 2020 uh, and which observed people sleeping less and the results of that study are truly fascinating. Stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So something cool has happened. As you may know, we have a playlist on this channel where we answer questions of whether polyphasic sleeping is dangerous. Uh, one of the videos in the series tackled the question of whether sleeping polyphasically will result in people developing cognitive deficits and uh, if it turned out that polyphasic sleep actually caused people to have a lowered cognitive performance. That would be pretty detrimental to the science as a whole. I suggest you go watch that video. By the way, the link to it will be in the description uh, if you haven't seen it already. But as it turns out, a fresh new paper came out in the beginning of the year called Sleep Duration Over 28 Years, Cognition, Grey Matter Volume and White Matter Microstructure, a prospective cohort study by Caesar et al. Um, where 613 participants with certain sleep durations ranging from 5 hours to 7 hours were monitored for 28 years. What was uh, specifically monitored was the volume of grey matter, white matter and their cognitive performance. So pretty much everything that we are interested in. What this study found was that there was no correlation between any of these and the sleep duration. In other words, how long people slept didn't affect their cognitive performance even several decades later. Let's quickly go over a bit about what cognitive performance is and what brain matter is. Grey matter is uh, the nerve cells in our brains and white matter connects them together. Uh, grey matter is used for processing information in the brain and uh, decreased volumes of it is linked to nasty diseases like Alzheimer's and schizophrenia. Uh, increased volumes of white matter are also linked to learning, uh, which means that it's important uh, to have more of it because you will be able to learn better. Um, it also increases with exercising, which means that it's important to exercise regularly throughout your life. Um, the less white matter you have, the more likely you are to develop Alzheimer's. Uh, so it's pretty vital. Also, both grey matter and white matter are associated with cognitive performance. So the worse your cognitive performance is, uh, the less of these types of matter you are expected to have compared to earlier stages in your life. They are pretty much correlated and connected to each other. Therefore, monitoring the cognitive performance is an important and also very cheap way to determine whether your grey or white matter volumes are decreasing as you age. So what does this mean for polyphasic sleepers? Well, <laughs> it's a win in my book. This starts questioning the baseless claim that some people pull out about polyphasic sleeping, that it will really lead to brain issues in the future. But while on the topic, I want to point out that the recommendations still stand that we have for teenagers. If you're a teen watching this video, please be cautious and follow the guidelines made by the community and presented in the video Polyphasic Sleep Schedule for Teenagers. The link to it will be in the description. This study examined older people, so to be on the safe side, no conclusions should be drawn for teenagers at this point in time. Okay, and what is future research in this field going to look like? The community is still, of course, planning to launch the phone application uh, with the purpose of monitoring the cognitive performance before, during and after polyphasic adaptations. Uh, we will hopefully get more published research in this field. For example, it will be interesting to see what the results were if different age groups were monitored. Um, of course, the largest cognitive impairments are going to mostly be are going to be mostly visible in older populations because they have had a time to accumulate over time, and the degradation is going to be most visible here. So I totally understand why the researchers chose older people to conduct this study on. Please comment down below if you were expected expecting to see these results. Um, 
like this video if you liked it and I'll be sure to cover more similar interesting topics in the future. Take care people and remember to have pleasant naps.